Okay, I've uh, made this video to show how even if you have no internet or incredibly slow internet connection at home, uh, you can still enjoy smart TV. Uh, the likes of, in this case, iPlayer, Amazon Prime Video and Netflix. Obviously, Prime Video and Netflix uh, are paid for services, but iPlayer is free uh, with your license fee in the UK. So let's tap on iPlayer and uh, as it launches it will realise there's no internet connection because I've switched off my router. This phone I only use for, for this sort of purpose so I have no SIM in it so this has no data connection. So go to downloads comes up, drag and stand, tap on that and I can hit play and it will resume where I last got to. So this is now playing drag and stand. As you can see the quality, this is a 40 inch TV, the camera is three feet away, still looks I think reasonable. So let's hit home and go for Amazon Prime which also offers a download for Amazon Prime subscribers. So I've got an episode of the Grand Tour here. Uh, I can hit play. This is on the highest quality download. Actually the iPlayer was on the highest quality that it offered. Obviously it's designed for a mobile device um, but hence it's playing on a mobile phone. The reason I'm, I, I came to this conclusion that mobile phone is the better way of doing it uh, is just that lots of other methods don't allow you to download the content. You can do it on a PC, you can download iPlayer but not really the others in a legitimate way or an easy way. This is a really simple way. Um, so as you can see from that, it's pretty good quality really. Uh, it's coming through the cable uh, and it looks nice and crisp. Let's go back home and do Netflix as well. So if I haven't mentioned this already, the, my idea is really that if you have no internet connection, you can go to a friend's house, use their internet connection if they don't mind, walk around Tesco's where you're doing your shopping, downloading a program, go to McDonald's, have a coffee, download a program. So anywhere you can get internet, free Wi-Fi, whatever, um, you, you make that time to download the program, and then when you get home, even though you've got little or no internet connection, you can still enjoy these programs. So I've got a couple of episodes of Suits here. Hit play on that. And there you go. So that's three services. Now, there's a fourth, uh, which is uh, all four. Now, for this purpose, it's actually blocked with my Slimport cable, which I was surprised at. I didn't think it was going to be, because I've used all four with uh, a method called Miracast before, which I'll show you at the end of this video. So let's tap on all four, and uh, can't get the latest data because there's no internet connection. So let's go to Downloads, and then when I try and play the episode, it comes up with a message. Uh, so it can't be run on secondary screens. So it's running on my phone. Now, so the way I can do that is to disconnect my cable and then it carries on playing. Now, this will, I'll also show you how to use it with a, uh, a keyboard. So now what I'll do is use Miracast uh, to connect to the TV, just to show the all four bit. Um, the simple port, uh, which is the HDMI cable, works better, but if I slide down from the top of the phone, not all devices have this, but Miracast is on my TV and on my device. Uh, so it's searching now, even though it's in airplane mode, uh, the TV and my phone have no internet connection. Um, so now this is connected. So what I can do now, if you have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse like this one, well this isn't actually Bluetooth, I'm waiting for my Bluetooth one to arrive, but uh, which is why I've got this little thing sticking out the bottom of my phone. But uh, So ignore that bit, uh, we'd normally have the cable plugged in. Um, this would allow me to have mouse control over my device. So if I go back, I can do all the same, iPlayer, you can see how easy I'm moving around with the mouse and keyboard. Things like escape goes back. Um, I've got a home button uh, on this keyboard so I can go back to home. Um, and all the services are accessible on this. It's in portrait mode. There's a way of getting this to be always in landscape, but um, I had to root my device and I wasn't, I wasn't going to do that because then it stops certain video 
services from working. But as you can see, let's go back to Netflix. It switches in. Uh, oh, it, in fact, it carries on playing the episode that it was playing. So, really, I think a good way of having smart TV if you're if you travel, if you're always on the road, so you can download your programs at home when you've got good Wi-Fi, if you have good Wi-Fi, or if you're staying somewhere where there's little or no Wi-Fi, or in fact you live in the country and you really have very, very, very slow Wi-Fi, so smart TV's just out because it buffers all the time. Um, so this is the method of downloading and then watching it at your leisure or on holiday or whatever. All right, thanks for watching.